All right. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, this is our Monday morning community kickstart team meeting for the Be Stronger Longer team. Our illustrious leader, Donna Reiners, is somewhere. I think she might be traveling today. So Cindy Miller is going to be uh, sharing some things with us this morning. She's got some great information and we're going to have a little Q&A here in a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and hand this off to Cindy and it's all the floor is yours. Okay, thank you. Well, there's nothing like a little tech drama to get you <laughs> awake in the morning. Hadn't even had mm -hmm. that much coffee. <laughs> I mean, that was wrong. Right. But anyway, we're happy that y'all are here. And if you're not here, that maybe you can listen to this on the recording. And um, Donna is great at building community. And we're just trying to come along and be a part of that. And that's what we're hoping for each one that are here that listen, that it's really important um, for us to see maybe each other's faces or hear voices and just to get to know one another as we're kind of going on this journey together. So we all learn from each other. We certainly don't think we have the answers. In fact, Rachel and I, when we were visiting a little bit, I'm like, well, this is what I kind of know a little bit about, but at the same time, I'm, I'm kind of preaching to the choir. So everything that I might share with you today is just something that I've learned or I'm continuing to learn, but recognizing it's part of, if you're gonna do this kind of business, you know, these are kind of components and everybody talks a lot about them. And so we're going to do the same. Um, I guess I just share a little, just a little bit of my um, story is um, I've been in the health and I've been in the health and wealth, uh, not health and wealth, but health industry uh, for, for a while. I've been a health coach for over eight years now. Um, so to me, this was just another piece of helping people uh, find something to get their bodies to do um, what they're desiring and take care of pain and just speak to lots of different health issues that they were going through. Um, so anyway, that's, I saw Donna Runners at a coffee shop and had seen her a year before when she had been really sick and said, what in the world have you been doing, girl? I want some of that. So literally that's, that's what we did. And I just said, show me what you're doing. I want to do it. I, I know it's working and I love things about health, anything that helped me. I love helping people. So that's kind of how I got into this, um, into Lifeway, but uh, we really, I don't want to really want to talk about me. I want to just talk about where are we all in this process of trying to build our business and really this community is for anyone that wants to be a part of community, but it's really also for those that are saying, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to do something. And first of all, let's just say that most of us will start something and then a big life event happens or things get crazy in lots of different areas and it kind of distracts us and gets us off course. So that's happened to me several, several times. Um, maybe it's happened to you too. So I just kind of want to say, let's lay that aside. And if you're in the middle of that, that's okay. And it's okay. Um, things, you know, family, different things are important to take time to um, spend your time doing that. But this is about how are we going to get our focus back to build our business? So um, there's three, three areas that I feel like really you, it can all boils down to. Um, and one is just your mindset. I mean, that's a big word that we all talk about, but I'm talking about mindset and you have to shift some things, but you also have to get to know yourself and you have to um, figure out what you're doing to limit yourself. You know, because most of the time ourselves are our biggest obstacle. It's not, I mean, you can let other things, but when it comes down to it, it's really me most of the time. <laughs> and most of the time it's either I'm feeling guilty about something or I'm thinking, oh, if I could just do that better, um, you really messed this up. You know, you just kind of have so many you have negative thoughts about yourself. Um, and so this isn't Pollyanna saying, oh, look at all, it's all sunshine and rainbows, but this is more about let's consider what it is that are your limiting beliefs. So I don't know, does anyone have something right now that they have? When I'm talking about, sometimes people say, well, I've never done this before. So how in the world am I going to figure out how to do this? Or my personality just doesn't seem like everybody else's. I mean, does anybody have anything like that, that they feel like limits them in their mindset?
if you don't, it's okay. But yeah, I, I can share a little quick story. I, when I was in my early twenties, I was just looking for a job. I needed something to do to pay bills. And I responded to um, this ad to come into a call center. And it was a telemarketing job and it was selling those com- coupon books, you know, the, mm-hmm. Which is there's great deals in there, but they were expensive and um, they weren't something that people really need, you know, at least the people that I knew. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And um, they had this big old, I mean, like crazy big binder of all these scripts and stuff and somebody coming around behind you and uh, listening on your conversations and making sure you go sell, sell, sell. It was a hard sell. And if they say this, then you come back with this and really a pushy approach. And I've got about this much tolerance for that when I'm on the receiving end of it. And I, I think I sold two, well, two things. One, I don't like being micromanaged, number one, um, because I'm a big girl. I can do this myself, (laughs) which also gets me in trouble, but that's a different kind of trouble. But I sold two that morning, felt like I was pushing people into something they really didn't need. And I went to lunch and never went back. I just like, I don't even care. Don't you have to pay me for what I, I don't, I, this is not me. This is not for me. Mm-hmm. So that, that kind of a feel like I'm not a salesperson yeah. is something that um, I'm having to overcome because, you know what I'm saying? I yes. have to really believe in a service or a product or I can't get behind it to try to mm-hmm. get somebody else to buy it. Mm-hmm. And I fully believe in, I see I, I, I fully believed in it before I even started using it, just from what Jen was telling me when she was telling me about what it did. And I started looking, listening to the testimonials. And I was like, this is stinking awesome. Yeah. But getting past that, I'm not a salesperson. Mm-hmm. Speak to that, that would be sweet. Yes. And so that's something that I think that's, I bet if we took a poll, that would be unless you've been in sales before. So I've even been a salesperson. Okay. And it's still sometimes, and part of it is because of the objections that come and just sometimes how you feel like people respond to you. So you kind of have to develop a little bit of a thick skin here. If you're going to do this, this is not for wimps, you know, (laughs) I mean, you know, so if you, you know, if you're going to be knocked off, by a few people telling you no, or, oh, I think you're being too pushy or whatever all that is, Um, whatever they say, everybody has a different way of saying it, you know, that's, you gotta, we're gonna have to all kind of toughen up from that. But in the, in the point of being salesy, you know what I say to that, then don't be, don't be salesy. Salesy, there is a certain way. And, you know, it's funny because even in sales training now that, which I did a lot, it's not about I mean, again, if your personality has come at you hard and aggressive, great, go for it. If you're not, it's, it's your personality. If you can add value to people and just get in a conversation and care, which most of you do. I mean, that's pretty much everybody of me that does black life, they care about people and they're concerned because someone is really, you know, needs the patch. But again, you cannot Um, you can't force people. And when you feel like you are, then just stop. You know, sometimes I get, I I will get overly excited about something and kind of passionate. And I feel like I probably do overwhelm people sometimes with maybe even information or how excited I am. And I'll say, I'm sorry, let me stop and breathe. Um, This is too much. And just kind of, I I kind of feel like if you find yourself doing that, then just kind of call yourself out. Um, Because this again, is about being you, being your best you. Um, because sometimes if I'm just being me, then I know that I am going to talk too much. And so my best me says, Cindy, you need to listen to what other people are telling you and quit trying to give them something before they're ready to hear it. Like, mm-hmm. listen to what they're saying and then don't just respond, you know, listen, 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 hear what the need is and then respond to that. So that's what I'm saying. And then there's others. Um, Rachel and I, I'm just going to bring this up, talked a little bit about the scripts that LifeWave has. And, you know, for her, she, she felt like there maybe were too, too rote and it felt too like she's just reading through something. But um, for other people, those are kind of a lifesaver mm-hmm. because they give them some words. If you're not a person that has, you know, if your person has too many words, they help you stay on track. If you're a person that is, you feel awkward starting in, it just gives you a beginning point. So use it either way. For me, I have to use it to stay on track sometimes because I want to go on my tangents and other people, 
you know, and then I'll just lose them. Their eyes are rolling in the back of their head probably. But for other people, they're just like, oh, I can't get the first, like if you can just get your first thing you want to say out and just practice that yourself. I mean, this may sound, but just practice that practice sounding. Cause if you sound weird to yourself, you probably sound a little weird to them too, but you know, so just kind of practice how you want to say it, but at the same time, it's okay. Um, what I'm trying to get to is this is personal development and wherever you are in this process, you know, you are going to grow more if you allow yourself to, if you allow yourself to get a little uncomfortable and to try some new things. And I think that's what we were, we wanted to build confidence that you don't have to know everything. You don't have to be really great at this because of, but you, this is what, but you do have to, you're the only one that can change your mindset and make changes and get rid of your limiting beliefs about yourself that you can't, or your personality in the same, or you don't know how as many friends as that person. You don't have that circle of influence. I was, I mean, I like science, but I'm not sure I'm really the best one to talk about it. Sometimes I feel like I'm, you know, but at the same time, that doesn't matter. There's other people that talk better about it. I can just rely on them. I can send them all the hundreds of videos that we have. Right. So I don't need to let that limit me because I'm a little bit uncomfortable with that right now. I won't be in another year probably, but today well, I'm not hundred percent there and that's okay. So don't so today, if anything you get out of this is just to write out your own where you feel like you limit yourself and let's find ways to break that, you know, mm -hmm. say no more of that and to find ways to empower yourself to say, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to not limit myself today. I'm not going to let that be the reason <laughs> I'm not moving forward because that's all on you. Um, I, everyone in this group is wanting to instill confidence. Uh, leaders, they seem to be so, from what I know, um, you know, our way is positive and not to talk you down, but to talk you up. So I feel like that's really good too, when there's lots of women. And I think too, since there's lots of women in this, that's something we need to be careful of. We tend to be critical and don't be critical of, of each other, of leaders. Um, just give everyone some grace. You know, and again, yourself let, included. Yes, yes, yeah. yourself included. Mm -hmm. But let people kind of be who they are and let them grow and develop and change. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. That's um, there's more about that. But the, the second thing I want to talk about was your systems and just training, obviously, to build that confidence and that you got this. You know, you are going to need to listen to some trainings. But if all you do is eight hours a day, no. Most people don't have eight hours a day to do this. If that's all you're doing, you're probably getting too much. And that's actually limiting you because <laughs> mm -hmm. you're like, oh my gosh, I can't hold all this information. So keep it simple. Keep mm -hmm. it simple. Um, Don and Rachel worked on this great system and be stronger. And literally they have every step. So the be stronger Facebook page has all the systems and all the training you need and the start, start x 39 bizcom which is the Marcy um, website for, for business. And literally you just go to the 14 steps and click on that. And I, when I first started, that's what I did every day. I just went in there and I read one step. Hmm, okay. And I just did that over and over and over again, where it became very familiar to me. I didn't spend five hours a day. I spent 30 minutes doing that. Um, so anyway, that's, that's a, a couple of things. There's plenty of systems to learn you do not need to recreate this unless you've just really got a lot of time on your hands it's, there's absolutely no reason to do that so they have an amazing system Don is a great trainer I know Rachel you've been really instrumental in getting a lot of things together I know Jen does a lot of things too I don't I'm not good at administration so no one's probably going to call on me to do that <laughs> I'm probably not going to have my name on that <laughs> that is not my stuff. um but anyway but that's okay because you know what if you're like me, you learn that structure is your friend mm -hmm. and, and you think you're all free. You, you, if you do not learn structure and you do not follow these systems, you're just being dumb, you know, because you are not going to get far. The systems are all there. Mm -hmm. You don't need to stress. It's all right there. So structure is your friend and you need to really embrace the systems mm -hmm. and embrace what we have available to you. Um, and then the third thing I would say, so mindset, we've got systems and trainings. These are the three things that if you do these three, if you operate in these three things and grow, you're going to do well. 
The last one's action. Every single one of us, I guarantee you, we're not in enough action. Me too. I'm raising my hand. Um, every time I get my plan, something happens. It feels like, what? And then I go, oh my goodness, those are my three steps and I didn't do them. Um, so we've got to quit giving ourselves our excuses. And I mean, I could have some wine time going on, whiny, whiny, because, <laughs> oh, this is going on. This is going on, you know? And again, wine to a couple of people for a little bit, but then let's get on, let's move on with it. It's, it's okay that we've had hard things and, um, but we just need to, if you want to do this, um, at some point, you know, I feel like there's always life going on and you're going to have to stick to your action plan. So whatever that looks like for you, um, I personally can't spend all the time in the power hours, but there I've done that before and they're wonderful. That's a wonderful time. If you have a hard time kind of getting set and you're like, okay, now what do I do? Go to that, go to the power hours. You know, everybody's got their own set of time that they have. And what I'm saying is if you, if you're to keep it simple, you know, work on these three areas. And if you're not working on the three areas, I mean, I think if you are, you're going to do better. So, um, like action has got to be, you know, the list. I mean, these are just the things we know, the list. Um, you have to do the work. One time I was telling Don about this, you know, one time when I was in, when I first, this is, you know, over 20 years, when I first got into sales, it was in an area of corporate legal services. I had no idea what I was doing, but um, I had to get trained and, and I, but I remember, and I was doing okay, but I remember one time my sales manager looked at me and he said, Cindy, good intentions. That's really great. You have good intentions, but you're going to have to produce <laughs> kind of like, you're a really nice person and you know people but at the same time if you don't produce you're not going to get paid so I'm going to say that and at first I was kind of offended but I really appreciate that you know because he wasn't he wasn't trying to be he was just like I love all your ideas but what are you doing and what how are you gonna put those into action so I, I just want to encourage you um you know you've got a lot of good intentions and that's great but you know what are you doing uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And let's, let's be doing, but do things that are high level that are going to, I mean, like anytime you're just communicating with people, that's going to be high level. Anytime you're sending a text message or say, why don't you watch this video? Or what did you think about it? Or, and that's the other thing I would say, and I want y'all to see if you can help me here. Like if you can learn to ask good questions for the ones that talk too much, it helps you to let them talk. And the ones that don't talk, that struggle with, and I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but some people struggle with, saying, okay, what am I going to say? If you just have some good questions, then again, you're a great listener. So mm -hmm. you can get the information. Mm -hmm. So what are some good questions that maybe y'all have used? I was wondering if y'all, you know, um, what are some of the ones we've heard on training? Like, do you want to know what the holy grail of anti-aging is? Or I was trying to think, what are some of the ones, do y'all remember? Well, uh, you know, one of the things that they, uh, that Marcy, her kind of one of her opening lines is, you know, how are you doing? What's going on with you? Yeah. What's going on? And that kind of opens, it's a pretty broad, that can open the door to all kinds of answers mm -hmm. and it can maybe kind of direct uh, based on how they respond that you can kind of, well, how's your health doing? Mm -hmm. How are, you know, how's, how are your kids or your, you know, somebody else in your family, you know, maybe be having, mm -hmm. you may not be having issues right now, but maybe a family member is. So, you know, how's your husband doing or how's your wife doing? Mm -hmm. And then, you, then all of a sudden, well, they're dealing with X, Y, Z. Okay. Well, there's <laughs> that, that yeah. opens up their conversation there. Um, but one of the things that you, um, I like that you said in having good intentions is one of the things that's been kind of rumbling around in me the last couple three weeks is, there's a difference between intent or having an intention and doing something with intentionality or intention with yes. intent, acting with intention or doing something intentionally. Mm -hmm. So you can have intent, you know, I can have intent all day long, great intentions, mm -hmm. but that's, it's all up here. Right. This is where it stays, but getting yes. it from having the intention to doing something with intention is I think where I need to. Mm -hmm. A lot of us maybe struggle with getting it from here to here. You know, does that make sense? Right. Yes, totally makes sense. 
Um, what what do you feel like is is it is it the actual action then that you're trying to take that you're not quite it does it what stops you is it what they're going to say or is it just your time or what like what do you feel like stops you that little I disconnect think for me a lot of it is to do with or has been I'm getting past this and I'm learning mm -hmm. to get past it um but is being concerned about what people are going to say or think or fear of. I don't care if they say no to the product. Mm -hmm. right. The relationship is like, yes. I don't want them. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I, totally. I want to preserve and protect the relationship because yes. regardless of whether, you know, they agree with you know, a lot of people just have issues with multi-level yes. network marketing and yes. that's their own hang up. I can't help that, you know? Yeah. Um, but one of the things I love, I asked Donna about this not long ago, and just, I love what she said was, um, is it direct sales, network marketing? Absolutely. And thank God it is. Mm -hmm. And it here's why it is. It was done. on That was intentionally done. That was with intention. That was done on purpose. And here's why. Because mm -hmm. David Schmidt talks about that. Mm -hmm. and it was mm -hmm. one of the videos that I've seen where, you know, he was approached by major mark, major retailers. Yes. And he said no, because if it, he could put a product, a new product hits the market, there's a big commercial marketing blitz mm -hmm. and then it sits on the shelf and people forget about it. And it's only what percentage of the population walks into a GNC ever, you right. know, it's a specialty right. store, store like that, right, right, right. very right. small. And so many people would never, who need it, would never see it. They would never even That's know right. it's there. So the reason that we went, he went with a network marketing approach, is, but it's, it's hand to hand, person to person. And how many thousands and thousands and thousands, if not more, people have this in their hands now that's changing their lives who would never set foot inside one of those stores because they just right. don't shop there. You know, and so he, direct sales. Yeah. Yeah. Right. His heart behind it. When I heard the same one, maybe that you were talking about, mm -hmm. we need to find that one. I was so impressed with his heart, just what he was trying to do. And mm -hmm. he kind of said, look, I kind of just want to be a simple inventor or scientist that did stuff, but God had other plans for me. <laughs> kind of like, wait a minute, I don't really want it to do this. But I mean, like, you know, at the time, um, now I'm sure he's very happy, but at the time it was very, that was very overwhelming in some ways. It wasn't what he thought was going to happen with everything. So he's a lab rat. Thing I would say, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, another thing I would say to people is, well, you know, as soon as you're paying my bills, then, you know, you have free reign to say whatever, but you know, I mean, if this is how I'm choosing to um, bring income into my family. Mm -hmm. That's okay. The other thing you spoke to the relationship, I just wanted, because this happened to me, um, because I do go to a, a church where I know a lot of people and, um, you know, they know who I am or, or whatever. And maybe some of them know what I do, but uh, I know a one particular person. I remember I had, we had shared about it and I started to say too, I kind of say, Hey, I will call you if you want to hear about this. I'm not going to stand here um, and do this right now because, you know, we can get on the phone. But the other thing I did was I noticed a couple of people that were, it's like when I say, Hey, they kind of look down, like it would be real, you know, like they said no to me and they, they were acting weird. So I just wanted to go, Hey, don't be weird with me now. You and I are friends and that's more important, but I still, it's, it's great. You know, I wanted to share with that. And at some point this may be something great for you and may not, but let's not be weird. We don't need to be weird. I'm not mad at you at all. Like, that's my thing. If you know me, you know. And so I think you just keep being you, Rachel, anyone that knows, you knows you're a giving, like, you know, you're, but at the same time, we have the right to want to do something that brings income into our families. They're working They're, You know, I mean, like it's just because it happens to be under this, you know, the evil, whatever they, it's just, um, some of that is just a misunderstanding, you know, yeah. um, of how because of that, that model has been abused by other companies. It has been. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. That's mm -hmm. right. But this mm -hmm. one hasn't. And I feel, mm -hmm. and I feel like the integrity and that's kind of, I do stand for integrity. And, and I, to be honest, if I saw that, I probably wouldn't be a part of it. Um, but it stands for integrity and our leaders stand for that. And that's part of why I will be involved with this company um, is because of that. So mm -hmm. anyway, I think those are, that's a great, um, as we talked about, just an obstacle that you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. That's very real. So, mm -hmm. and that's kind of what we wanted. 
Mm-hmm. I was, um, I came across an article a week or so ago about getting past it's, it's, it's general network marketing issues and how to kind of get your mind where it needs to be. Yes. And one of the things I thought was really funny because you mentioned about paying the bills. If you're, if you're not paying my bills, you know, yeah. one of the things he said was get, past, get over yourself basically. And mm-hmm. what about what people think? He said, if they're not, if you're not sleeping in the same bed with them and they're not that's paying right. your bills, their pain doesn't matter. <laughs> that's, right. that's right. And that's a pretty, you know, cut and dry, blatant, blunt little statement. But honestly, right. it's true. You know, it, yeah. Yeah. And they don't know where your life, you know, what, how much money you might need or what mm-hmm. needs there are. And this might be a way that you can, you know, be home with your kid or there's different situations where this is something that's going to have to work for people because mm-hmm. this fits in with how they have to do something, you know, Mm -hmm. how they have to work. Mm -hmm. And so it's just, yeah, I just think we should just kind of learn to be, learn not to take offense. Mm -hmm. Like we can still choose not to take offense because, because people are going to make you feel, you know, something sometimes, but if we can just learn to not take offense and just pray and just say, Hey, I'm trying, you know, and just listen to your words. And it's really about your tone. Also listen to Mm -hmm. your tone, listen to your words And if you feel like you went overboard, you know, you can come and say, Hey, I just get excited about that. I mean, who can, who, who gets mad about that? You know, you're just trying to help. Um, So at the same time, I think let's just listen to ourselves, listen to our tone, listen to our words, but don't, you know, don't be offended by people that might be more aggressive about something or that they feel you are being that way. Like, I don't even want to talk to you. Um, That's okay. Move on. Yeah. Um, what else? There are two things that I, kind of came to mind while you were talking. Um, uh, one of them, I've had people tell me, I don't, I don't really want to pursue the business side of this or try to sell this because yet, because I don't have my own personal testimony yet. And they okay. felt like unless they had some big drastic effect in their body, their own, uh-huh. they, that they weren't qualified, I guess, to share Mm-hmm. And so I was trying to encourage them and say, no, look, I, I didn't either at first, you know, mm-hmm. and because that goodness, way, right. Why do we, do yeah. why, you know, <laughs> well, since then I have, but, I mean, yeah. okay. you know, but, but okay. thankfully, I mean, it's anyway. So, um, if what was I was going to say about that, if that's why they don't want to get in the business is they don't like yeah. that testimony and you, you don't have to have your own personal testimony Mm -hmm. Oh, because of the nature of stem cells and how they operate. Mm -hmm. um, They don't check in with me and say, what do you want me to work on? Right. They're smarter than I am. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So they will go because everybody's body is different and everybody's needs are different. You know, like we've talked about before, your stem cells will go to the most critical need first and it may or may not be something that you feel right away. Right. Right. And so you may not have a testimony of some big mm-hmm. drastic thing in your life mm-hmm. right away. So how would you encourage someone who is kind of a little bit hang hung up with that? I would say that, you know, first of all, it's, you know, this is a, a one amazing tool. Most people are concerned about their health or thinking about their health or focused on their health. And that's why it can help anyone. You don't have to have you know, I wanted it just to help relieve some stress. I think my nervous was feeling, or, um, I was just thinking, why wouldn't I want to, I didn't even know my stem cells weren't working. <laughs> I mean, you know, some of us, are, I didn't even know that. So why wouldn't I want, you know, I hear about that. Like, why wouldn't I want that? You know? Mm-hmm. So it's, it's more about, it, it's amazing how people that, that love health and are focused, they love hearing about new things. There's plenty of people out there and you don't have, I didn't have a major testimony. I mean, I had a tennis elbow, but to me, it's the small things that it helps right now for me that can build into bigger things if I left unattended. And so, and it's the small things in life that, that sometimes inconvenience and get you drain you, (laughs) you know, a bunch of little things. And so I just feel like for overall, focus on health. It's just such a great, it's a great tool and people are really interested to hear about it. That's the other thing, you know, Mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that you hear that have all these, you know, they, yes, they, you know, had amazing medical testimonies, but, um, I'm, I'm finding people just want to talk about just general health, you know, what they want their health to improve. Mm -hmm. Um, 
and just my small testimonies, they seem to be very, very engaged with that. So I don't think you need, but again, okay, that goes right back to what I said, the limiting, that is a limiting belief. I used to think because when I was a health coach and I helped lots and lots of people lose lots and lots of weight, even though I had 10 or 15 pounds, but because I knew how much that affected me and how much, you know, more could affect other, you know, affected their health. I didn't have to have the personal experience, but I knew how to help mm-hmm. and I knew it worked. I know how much better the testimonies of my clients, you know, I mean, testimonies mm-hmm. of other people. So we use other people's testimonies if we don't, but we got to get out of the limiting belief that we have to experience everything ourselves to be able mm-hmm. to um, share mm-hmm. it. We don't, we don't have to have the worst, you know, medical dilemma um to be able to share this yeah probably the people that that do they might get more faster possibly but this isn't about you know again the steady the steady work the steady action the steady to all of that is going to get you to the same place because so many times people get tons of people and then they don't take care of them they don't work with them they don't do and they just all go away so just because they have a big testimony might bring in quicker at first, but it doesn't necessarily mean your business is going to be the best, you know, in the end. So you still have to work to maintain it. Yeah. You have to work to maintain it. You could get a bunch of people in right at first because of, you know, what's happening. Because even Donna, she did have a, but you know, it's what she's done after that. That's what's made her business successful. It's not just her. She does have a, an amazing testimony, but it's what's come after that. It's her follow-up. It's her mm-hmm. caring about people where they are. It shouldn't even, it's not about me. It's about them. Like what's going on with you? <laughs> you yeah. know, I mean, I think more where they, it's more about, do you have credibility or you a person that can be trusted to me? Okay. That's what's more mm-hmm. important. It's not, not if I have a big test mm-hmm. is that can I be trusted? Am I, am I a person that really sincerely cares? And Um, believes in what this is, you know, believes in this technology. And I do. So Mm -hmm. that's, I think if you have that um, belief, Mm -hmm. you know, you'll, you'll do just fine. You don't have to have the other. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going. People can tell when you're speaking from the heart. That's right. As opposed when you're reading a script, there's nothing wrong with scripts. Scripts are awesome. Yeah, They're they're a great starting point. Um, But one of the things that I'm also learning, relearning, I guess, is that, a script is, first of all, the company doesn't put out, these are not corporate scripts that we're, we're talking about. The company mm-hmm. doesn't, have, you're supposed to say this. Mm-hmm. They leave that to the individual. Now, our, our larger team, uh, Team Evolve with Marcy and Peter, mm-hmm. the scripts that they have put out are suggestions and stuff. Like they're great starting points. If you have no clue where to start, what to say, yeah. start here. Start mm-hmm. with that to kind of get the conversation going and make it your own. But one of the things that I'm learning is that there's going to be, it's not a, one size fits all approach. No. You're going to approach someone who has a health issue with a different starting question. Mm-hmm. If you know they have a health issue, as you might be somebody who's very uh, a gym rat, who's very fitness oriented, mm-hmm. uh, all about, you know, staying fit or they're very athletic. The opening discussion with them is going to look a little different, you know, That's about right. maintaining, you know, that or enhancing that performance. Mm-hmm. It's just maybe somebody who is, um, looking for a business opportunity, looking for some mm-hmm. side money, you know, there, so those, this one size fits all, don't feel like you have to be boxed in and yeah. use the same script or the same opening comment or question with everybody. Think about who they are, mm-hmm. what their life looks like and kind of go at it from mm-hmm. what about maybe they're okay. Women, we want to look younger. We want to, yeah. we want, we want pretty skin. We want pretty yeah. hair, we want pretty nails. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, if you got somebody that's kind of all up in that, that mm. that is going to be a different conversation starter. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So, yeah. And so just kind of think young about moms, they person. need the energy patches. <laughs> the, yes, the moms see, and kids are getting no sleep. They say they you have to know your room, know your audience, read the room. <laughs> you know, exactly. Who are you talking to? Yes, exactly. You know, and, and go at it from that angle. The well, only know, who you're, know who you're, that was a great point then. So that's mm-hmm. kind of know who you're, talking to mm-hmm. know who you're talking to or know your audience and you know that's kind of a marketing thing you know you should know that and mm-hmm. and if you there. don't know them that's why you start with you ask questions. Come on with you that's why you listen <laughs> why <laughs> we listen yeah listen and we use those intake forms to ask questions because mm-hmm. and again 
what I learned too is, you know, you're going to take down some answers and you're not going to remember everything. So you're going to need that to refer back to. That's why, again, that structure of do mm-hmm. the, do it right. I mean, again, mm-hmm. at first I didn't, I was writing all over stuff, you know, cause I didn't have my stuff together and, you know, but then I can't find that stuff again. <laughs> you're like, oh, I was even, I was oh. using one of these little spiral things. I'm going to add a page of it for every person, like flipping back through. Yeah. Where, yeah, exactly. where is that guy again? <laughs> yeah. 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 The intake form is a one-stop shop there. Even one-stop if they shop. don't ever do anything, you've got all their information right there. Yes. To and when put you into your follow up category Absolutely. to come back to them, and and you know Absolutely. that's something we talk about another time too. But just how yeah. much, you know, time you spend in follow up. So anyway, there's so much, mm-hmm. there's so much we have to learn, and it's so exciting, you know. Mm-hmm. But we just today just wanted to kind of say, you got this, you know. That was mm-hmm. we. There's lots of, and Donna likes to get into more details, and we'll let her do that. But we just kind of want to say, you got this. And, you know, if Rachel can do it, I can do it. You know, anybody, I mean, we, you know, we just, if you have the right, you know, just get your heart right, get your mindset right, figure out those limiting beliefs and let's throw them in the trash and just work on yourself to just move forward and whatever that looks like, you know, so at the end of the week, you're like, okay, well, at least, you know, I did that. And you don't have to live with regret because I think this business is an amazing business. I have not done at the level that I would like to do. So I'm still working too. I'm, uh, like I said, this is, I'm talking to myself, <laughs> talking to myself, but you know, let's just um, get to know yourself. <laughs> if nothing else, when you get into businesses like this, it's what I learned. You will really know yourself. You will understand what your fears are more. Mm-hmm. You will, you'll just get, you get, things get kind of ripped. I don't know how to say that, like stripped away a little bit more. And, um, and at first that's just uncomfortable and you kind of have your pride and, you know, all of that, but you know what, that's a good thing. And, um, and let's let each other help each other and, and encourage each other. So I don't know, we could go on forever. Is there anything else we need to say, or I just hope there's, people want to come and talk yeah, to us, right? <laughs> yeah. There's one other thing I wanted to talk about real quickly okay. is isolation. Oh, um, so we have the. The team, the larger team that we're on is Team Evolve. That's the big, mm-hmm. big gym. And then we've got like these little specialty classes, like with Donna, Be Stronger Longer. We got a little aerobics class or a whatever class, Zumba. Mm-hmm. So what the trainings that are out there on Team Evolve are excellent and they're consistent and um, they're very important and they're valid and they're very useful, but it's a big room. Um and they're, they run about an hour ish, you know, which is fine. And then Donna's what she's done recently with re kind of doing a reset on be stronger longer is she's putting things in a little bit more of a bite size uh, guide and it's very structured there and it's very organized and easy to find what you're looking for on the Facebook page for be stronger longer. Um, the look on, click on guides and it'll show you. And it's kind of a step, step one, step two, step three. It's kind of a no brainer. Go do this. You, you listen to this, watch this, read this. But it's a, if you want a little quick hit the ground running, I don't have time for, you know, eight hours of training. I just want to go. And you want to get the basics of what you really have to know right off the bat. That is a great place to start. And then as you go, you know, you can dig into more of the, the longer, bigger, more detailed things but one of the things I wanted to touch on is um and everybody's got your own time availability to put into this some people are working a full-time job or a part-time job and they're kind of doing this catch as they can here and there in the evenings or weekends or whatever but if you haven't gotten on to if you're kind of just getting started and you haven't kind of hit your groove yet you know um if you haven't gotten on to Marcy's power hour or the, the the office training, or doing one of those office uh, things, I would really strongly recommend and suggest that you try to get on at least one or two of those. Mm-hmm. Um, it, there's a camaraderie that is there when you're um, working alongside other people. And because we do this from home, because this is a self-employed kind of you know thing where we're working from wherever we're at, it's real easy to fall into this, I'm the only one out here, feel we know better but we just feel alone because we look at these four walls that we're in and it's hard to really uh, remember or feel the camaraderie that you do when you're in an office with a bunch of other people around and everybody's on the phone doing their thing 
um, and just talking amongst each other and bouncing ideas off of each other. You don't get that when you're self-employed working from home unless you intentionally build it, which is what this is all about. So getting there's a camaraderie that comes. And if you haven't gotten on to those um, office sessions, I, I had never seen anything like this. I thought it was so cool because Mondays and Tuesdays, she does like a little, I think whatever time it is, an hour before, but she'll get in there and do like a training on this is what to expect when we get into the office. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, there's an hour a day. It's at one o'clock central, I think. And um, it, it basically, it's a Zoom call where everybody's in the room, everybody's muted, Marcy included, nobody's talking on the Zoom. It's just everybody's in their office, but you're in a bigger office, you know, with everybody there. And you're making your phone calls or sending your texts or whatever it is that you're doing to reach out to people. But you've got other people in the room. You can ask questions. You can, you know, get uh, questions answered. You can bounce things off of each other. And it's a great camaraderie that kind of reminds you that you're not in this alone. Mm -hmm. And there's just something about that. That's how community is built. And it really reminds me, sometimes I can go, 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 go. And then every once in a while, I'm like, you know what? I'm just really feeling kind of isolated out here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hop on there today. And you don't have to do it necessarily every single day. But if you need that little kickstart to kind of just help you feel like you're not by yourself in this. And you see, one of the things I loved about that when I got in that room for the first time was that I saw people from every age, every walk of life, every, mm -hmm. you know, it's not just a certain kind of person that can do yeah. it. I yeah. saw young people, older people, men, women, different backgrounds, different whatever. And everybody's doing the same thing. Everybody's trying to build their life, better their life for them and their family. and change their financial situation and help people in the process and everybody's got their own why you know the reason why they do this but it really helps to feel like you're not in it by yourself so isolation is a trap and we've kind of the last three years we've kind of been steered toward that more with what happened starting in 2020 with the lockdowns and everything but um so kind of we have to kind of remember to break out of that and not not camp there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's time and a place for solo flight. <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there's a real uh need also. We're designed and built for community, for relationship. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it really helps to get on a couple of podcasts a week. If nothing else, you know, even though the material might be the same, I've heard this before. Um it's just the the camaraderie, I think, that's built and remembering that you're not alone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Does that make sense? Oh yeah. That's I that's a great point. And the and I think when you are, when you do feel that isolation is when you just kind of go, eh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, you just, it's just not, it's not, it doesn't help very much. I mean, sometimes I have to be alone just to get it done, right? But sometimes mm -hmm. it's more that sense of camaraderie. And I think that's what we're trying to build. And honestly, you can't really be successful in this business unless you're going to have other people that go with you. So if we don't start building this now, like when all of us have people that, you know, if we don't have anything to bring, that's what we're trying to say. We're not trying to just get the number, you know, this, there's a reason why this works and we think it'd be fun <laughs> for one thing to have lots of people to talk to and ask questions and to bounce each other off because there's just a wealth of knowledge when you have all these different, you know, like you're saying, all different ages, different backgrounds. So we we want that mm -hmm. for this particular group too. That's kind of what we're asking for. And if, mm -hmm. you know, if people right now don't want to do it, they don't want to do it. That's okay. We'll find people that do because there's lots of people that want community and, but we can't, we can't really build unless we have people that come and get involved this way too. So Anyway, it's really, it's a, it's a benefit, not, um, I mean, sometimes we can get to have too many meetings. And again, that's each of us have our own kind of boundary of that. And mm -hmm. I have to do that because sometimes it's just fun to be on meetings, but you know, you got to get off and go do what you're supposed to do. So. Yeah. But we just want this one to be something that people want to um, come to. So we'll see, we'll see if, you know, people respond and we'd love, we'd love to see people on here. And um, so anyway, that's, that's kind of our why of doing this, right? Why mm -hmm. we feel led to do this and to participate um, for this season right now. We feel like there's momentum in the company. There's mm -hmm. momentum in our teams and we just need to 
kind of build on that mm-hmm. and don't let it go by without, um, you know, just figuring out what we're supposed to do with it. <laughs> mm-hmm. So thank you so much, Rachel. You're amazing. Oh, thank you. You are too. Got us all done. Uh, Woo. So, um, (laughs) before we, we got a few more minutes left. I want to open it up. Jen or Tanya, do you have any questions or anything you want to add personal experience or things that you learned along the way or what you, anything else you might want to see us talk about in a future podcast? I was tracking with a lot of things you were sharing of definitely. Yeah. (laughs) The Mm -hmm. highs and the lows and all the personal development. Oh yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. right now, a big thing for me is retention. Um, I have been on and off manager several times now, and it's pretty frustrating to me. Mm -hmm. Um, so that I know part of it for at least the personal development part, it goes back to some original lessons of me thinking, oh, I'm not explaining it very well, or they would trust the science and stay with it. Or I must not be conveying it's worth enough because they wouldn't think it's too expensive or whatever. So that as far as the personal part, but like the practical business part, I'm, I'm a little bit stuck with that in that cycle. And then um, I still get hit with, I appreciate the scripts. I'm not really a normal script person because I've had to get over that it doesn't feel authentic, but I do like it as a reference mm-hmm. so that I'm consistent with my communication. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's been hard for me to follow the way that the initial scripting goes with some of our bigger team stuff, because most of the people I talk with, even if no matter what kind of issue they have, it could be like a horrible health issue, or they could have all the money in the world. It doesn't matter. (laughs) Almost immediately they'll be like, well, how much does it cost? And I can't even get past mm-hmm. like to say, hey, look at the website or I want to tell you about this or what do you know about <laughs> stem cells? It's like, well, how much is it? And I can't, yeah. and then I have to side rail and yeah. I feel like I get all cattywampus mm-hmm. about it. So I just need help with that also. I do too. <laughs> Keeping it distinct too. and like presenting the value and then being, you know, okay if they say no and not taking the hit for you know it's personal yeah you definitely don't want to take the hit that's personal like that just throw that out the window Mm because yeah it's not and you know we're not you're not gonna none of us can move if I think about that too long (laughs) right so um you know if they're just type people there's people that just they want the facts man you know they that's (laughs) they're just if they're if they're that type if you know them and you know they're going to be that way you might even just send them. I don't know if Donna, you know, she's probably the better one to answer, but sometimes people like that, I might send them a little bit more information before I ever talk to them. Even the prices, you know, maybe the, what the silver package, you know, those different packages and all the patches, like that one page and say, Hey, we're going to this, I want you to have this so that, you know, you'll know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, if they're that way, I wouldn't initially do that with some, but I have somebody that's like that. And so I just thought, you know what, they're going to ask me, I know they're going to interrupt me the whole time. And they're going to do that exactly what you said. So instead of that, if this is really going to keep them from doing it, why not just let them look at it and then they can, you know, <laughs> they can just look at it and see going in, Hey, that patch is $99 or the, the package is $300 or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, but it might be, I wouldn't do that with everyone, but if you feel like, um, you know, that going in, maybe you could just give them some more information before you ever get on the phone with them. Yeah. yeah I've, had the same, I've had the them. same issue multiple times where mm-hmm. I start to, I'm all excited and I start mm-hmm. to tell them I have something that can do, that can help with this. This mm-hmm. is what my experience has been. And the first question was, how much is it? And based on how I answer that question determines whether that conversation continues or not, because yeah. I've had them completely shut. Nope. I can't afford that. Get it. And mm-hmm. we're done before I ever tell them how this can change your life. Yeah, they, can change hear, they won't listen. And so I have, that's one of the things that I too, Jen have a, you know, I'm still working out how but, to get around that because you don't want to go around it and act like you're not, you're putting their question off or you're right. You're going to use car salesman trick, yeah. right. you know, but at the same time, you want them to hear you, yeah. you know? Well, maybe you say, well, Hey, the stem cells are a hundred bucks a month, which is, cr- you know, crazy. It's so inexpensive compared to what, you know, getting a shot would be, but let me, let me, let's keep asking questions. Cause there's different packages. 
And mm -hmm. we need to, that's why I'm, I need to ask these questions. I need to understand because we have, you know, a lot of patches and the X39 is the, the kind of the workhorse and that's hundred bucks, but there's, um, you know, we need to get to these other questions to be sure that's the best selection for you. Or there might be other patches mm -hmm. that fit what you, you know, what your, you know, the things that you're dealing with or whatever. Mm -hmm. We're not doctors. We don't mm -hmm. diagnose, obviously, but mm -hmm. from what we see, you know, that list of patches, but I mean, I think it's okay to say, yeah, well, this X39 is, I mean, that's really, I mean, like when y'all hear a hundred bucks, I mean, to me, that doesn't sound like, oh my gosh, that's the most expensive thing I've ever heard of. I mean, I guess because I've been around people that have gotten, the, you know, gotten the shot before and, um, you know, they're paying thousands of dollars, but, um, you know, people spend that much on supplements. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know so I think the main thing is you have to believe it's worth the money mm -hmm. because if you don't really believe that in your little hard hearts you will come across like oh well it's you know it just gosh it's hundred dollars oh you know you can't say it that way that's again that mm -hmm. tone that you use mm -hmm. is really important that you say it with confidence because it is a good deal we know that it's a good investment mm -hmm. they don't know that yet and again mm -hmm. we can't some people you just you know, me, I get excited about all those things. I'm probably going to jump faster than the next. So I don't use myself as an example. I think about the people that, you know, are more cautious and they like more, you know, they're going to, but you have to, especially with them, you've got to be sure that, that you really do believe that yourself. I know you do, but mm -hmm. you know, you don't feel like you're trying to backtrack. Just answer it. You know, I mean, oh, well, it's this much, but we really need to get these other questions so we can see if what package would be better or maybe you're just going to get the stem cell you know maybe that's all you want to start with and that's fine mm -hmm. so I mean you got to be willing to you got to be willing to that they feel like this is my opinion you're kind of willing to walk away you're not trying like today at the end of this phone call I will get your credit card <laughs> I mean that is not that is not um what they need they do not need to feel they need to be you know feeling like you're really trying to listen you're really trying to help them and again Jen if they if they don't let you do that they're really not that interested and they won't last more than so don't worry about it you know you're doing nothing wrong you're doing everything right and if they can't let you just give them the information and 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 you ask your questions so you have your intake form so you know what would probably be a better the best package for them to make a decision that's on them that's not on you you know you're doing everything right so you. all you can do is you know, it's, it's give them the information. And if they stop you like that, um, you know, I don't know, try different ways, but does that help at all? Like maybe some different yeah, ways to say you. it. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes we just need some different words. Like I'm always mm -hmm. writing down different phrases yeah. that people say what, and what resonates with me that I can say that I feel like sounds like me. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. That that's part of it is there's some things like, oh, I would never say, I could never say, I would be laughing if I said that. <laughs> you know, that's so not me. I'm sorry. They'd be like, what? And I'm thinking the same thing. That sounded really weird. That's for me. Cheesy. <laughs> right. <laughs> so don't, don't make yourself weird. Like just, yeah. you know what I mean? Just, just be yourself. Like, answer their question. I think people really get, you know, if they feel like you're being dodgy, you know, and sometimes we're not being dodgy. We're just trying to figure out what how to say something you know mm -hmm. we're not trying to do that we're just you know we, we're just trying to figure it out how to say it what's the best way that I can get this information and that's my problem too because there's so much science there's so many different things you can say oh it's so hard to and you want to get the exact right thing for them you know oh this if they just do this like when I hang up the phone I'm like oh why didn't I talk about that <laughs> oh well but you can always send a follow. That's the deal, Jen. Always just, you just still follow up. Send something that you think about later. I was thinking about you. You know, we talked about this. I thought you might enjoy this video. Yeah. You know, because it takes time to send those videos sometimes. I mean, that's your time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People will start to appreciate what it took for you to go find that and send it to them. Yeah. And again, if they don't, then you've got the wrong people. So move on. Yeah. Yeah. I had this conversation with Donna actually about a week or so ago and it finally I'm having like this aha moment in my head <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, especially with people that you know or that you haven't talked to in a long time and you're you don't want your first conversation I haven't talked to you in 10 years and the first thing I'm looking is to try to convince you 
you need to right. <laughs> um but that it's I'm having to come to grips with the fact that it's okay to not ask for the sale or even present the patches in the first mm-hmm. conversation. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's a matter of rebuilding the relationship, doing a little reconnect, you know, yes. for a couple, yes. three phone calls. So you kind of get that trust reestablished if you mm-hmm. haven't talked to somebody in a long time. Mm-hmm. And then even though you know they have an issue or you know, but you can just kind of in your gut tell this is not the time to bring this up. That's right. And go with your gut, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. this is they've got something going on this week or they've got this going on this is not the best time they're on vacation they had a death in the family there's something going on let's get let them get past that you know and then I'll, we'll talk again in a couple of weeks and kind of see where things are at feel that it's okay to not do the presentation the first time you call somebody and that's okay. what I've had to realize that's fine it's actually probably better to establish the trust or reestablish it in the long run, you know, because then, then you're, whenever you do present it, whether it's tomorrow or next week or whatever, they're receptive. They're a lot more open to hear it. That's my experience on it or take on it. Mm-hmm. Um, ultimately, of course, at the end of the day, yes, you do want to sell the package. We need the money. <laughs> right. At the same time, you don't want to do it at the expense of, you want them to stick with it mm-hmm. because they have to see the value in it. And if they don't trust you, because you just, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I totally and think They're much more likely to stick with it. And uh, mm-hmm. you mentioned- uh, Right, if they've made a really yeah. good decision, they thought about a little bit, they're yeah. they're definitely more likely. Absolutely. And you don't feel so like- you, that's smart, the smart business. Sell, like they, you don't have to sell people. You know, if they don't feel like they're trying to sell, not the product, mm-hmm. but you're trying to put one over on them. Right, right. You know? And sometimes it's genuine, a sweet genuine, spot. Exactly. Mm-hmm. They sometimes you call it, it's a sweet spot. It it could be is just just at the right time. They're like, oh my goodness, I've been thinking about this, and I've really been you know struggling with this, and this mm-hmm. is so great that you you know we get to talk about this. So, and again, if you're interested in people, not just yourself being interesting, you know, but you're interested in people and you're asking them questions, generally they're going to ask you, well, what are you doing now? you know, and again, if there's zero response, like, oh, that's cool. Or they say not, you know, you know, it's not, you know, maybe it's not the greatest time to do your, you know, move on. I let them ask me back again. Hey, what about that? You were talking about that. What, what is that? Hey, would you go ahead and send me that stuff? Like, I'm still going to follow. They're on my list to follow up, but I, like you, Rachel kind of felt like, eh, not probably. The, and so I waited you know, but they're on my list and I'm following up with them. It wasn't that I'm not going to, but they end up reaching back out to me to say, Hey, Cindy, you know, you mentioned this, would you go ahead and, Oh, okay, sure. So Mm -hmm. again, this is just our experience. People can have different experiences, but I'm, and again, I do think be you, you know, but grow you. (laughs) We got to be ourselves. We got to grow ourselves. I think all I'm saying is, you know, don't just stay where you are but you know grow you so I think that's good so Jen I just want to recap on something you said you mentioned the practical business side of things is something that you struggle with can you be a little bit more specific maybe something we can address later um oh I was just I was just trying to say that I know that some of it is just the personal part of it but I mm-hmm. like me working on me <laughs> Mm -hmm. But then I was Mm -hmm. like talking about retention and things like that. I just, Mm -hmm. I'm still a little stuck in that and I need to figure out what, how to not be stuck in that. Yeah. I'm going to, I think we're going to recommend or suggest to Donna that retention might be another topic for a a future uh, training on that. Yeah. That's good. And how to, again, have some better questions maybe to ask them. Mm -hmm. And follow up, see, you know, the follow Not up, follow up, up, up the follow up is the, fo- yeah. the retention is in the follow up, mm-hmm. you know, once they're in it for, you know, they have this whole plan lined out. Like I said, it's all right there in the training with both Donna mm-hmm. and with Marcy is when they get, and it's on the intake form, even, you know, there's boxes to check, you know, here's, you know, a week after they get the patches, a month after you follow up. Mm-hmm. And that's where I'm really not, I got to get my feet under me on that. And so that's yeah. just no excuses. I just haven't done it. There's, there's yeah, no, I'm with you. I'm um, having time for it. Me too. 
Uh, but, same thing. Yeah. Jen, but maybe same asking thing. the right questions in the follow up. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, that's a good point. I for, actually forgot about that checklist. <laughs> but I, for a while, I was being really good about very regularly checking in with people and things. But honestly, either people are just busy or they just start ghosting me. Like it's just happens so much. Um, mm -hmm. And then they just stop their account or whatever. I'm like, well, wait, we didn't even get to, like, I wanted to help you, you know, or how are you doing? Like, it's, you know, I was trying to be clear from the beginning. This isn't just me selling you some product. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I want to be here with you, but anyway. in your health journey. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, together. yeah. exactly. Okay. And if you're, and if it's time to do something different, just let me know. Don't just, you know, mm -hmm. with the scene. <laughs> but I never know. And then I, and then I don't know why. Did mm -hmm. you go bankrupt? Are, are you cured? <laughs> and you think you're fine? You don't need them anymore? Like what happened? Are you cured? You know? <laughs> my stem cells are marching everything. now. I can stop doing this. I'm good to go. This is going to run for the rest of my life. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I got a marching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's funny. All right. We're getting close to our time here. Does anybody else have any other questions or comments or suggestions before we find it up? Tanya, do you have anything? Just a quick one. What do you say when people ask? So what do you do? You know, like, cause I'm, I just moved to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. so I don't know people out there. So as I'm starting to get, you know, to meet people, they're going to, you know, eventually ask, so what do you do? You know? Well, I'm out here with my daughter. I don't mm -hmm. do anything other than sit at home and, you know, up until now. <laughs> but I don't want to stumble across, you know, I don't want to stumble because then it sounds like I'm. Mm -hmm. Right. So you kind of need a little, you need your blurb. Yeah. Marcy actually so, suggested something. The other yeah, what did she say? Oh, she I'm said, I'm in the stem cell technology field. Mm. That yeah, is a conversation cell technology starter. field. Whoa. Yeah. I have a that's a conversation. Technology. Really? Huh? That's, yeah, how really. interesting is that? You know, or yeah. or it could be something like I help people and then fill in the blank with whatever you feel like is a good, you know, better their health or naturally uh, mm -hmm. reverse aging or whatever, you know, naturally something, 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 you know. Mm -hmm. I help people do this. Yeah, natural. Because we are in the, they put us in the wellness, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're not medical. So we're wellness. So you can always say, yeah. I'm, in, know, the I'm wellness in the wellness mm -hmm. industry and I um, work with stem cell technology. There you go. That sounds pretty good. I'm going to use that, Tanya. <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> I like That's it. That's basically it's what true, I It's true though. You do kind of go, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, um, like people you're meeting, like sometimes I say too much. So I think that'd be good to have, I say more than I need. And they're kind of like, what, huh? Um, but anyway, so I think let's try that. See what you, see what happens when you say that. Okay. You need to report back to us. Okay. <laughs> report back. <laughs> let's try different things like that. Do y'all have cards? I'm going to order some. No, I need to get some. I'm going to get some. But I I'm have in the stem cards. cell technology. Okay. I have cards, but from before a lot of things were shifted. But okay. what I, what I usually do is I send them, um, like in my, co my snail mail correspondence after yeah. I, or occasionally I'll use them person to person, but I try to be clear that they need to come back to me and not just go on the internet and get lost. Mm -hmm. But, but generally, no, I just, <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. And that way they I'm going to try, own. I'm going to try, where and are you they, Tanya again? Are you, did you say Atlanta? Atlanta. Okay. Atlanta. I was just trying to think if I knew anybody in Atlanta. Okay. Okay. Did but that this help, is, you know, we need suggestions, I guess. Did so. that help? Yes. Okay. I like your, uh, what you said, Cindy, I'm in the health and wellness industry and I work with stem cell technology. That, that's beautiful. I love that. Mm -hmm. I wrote that down, stealing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I have said that because I've been um, cause I am a health, I mean, people do know me as a health coach, so mm -hmm. I'm more like saying, well, this is just something else that's 
I'm adding to my toolbox. So that's kind of how I say it sometimes to something else that deals with, you know, it's a different, totally different thing. So, but that, that trips people up too sometimes. So I just think we should go with this other shorter. I work with stem cell technology. I'm working with stem cell. So uh, about the business card, one of the things that I used to do with another self-employment thing I had was I created I designed a business card. You could actually design, well, whatever, design your card or whatever, do it whether on Vistaprint or pick one. You might be able to pull it down off of the the stop the um, evolve website where you the start biz start mm -hmm. biz .com where you got the big or the business cards. Once you design it and put your name and your phone number and everything on there, you should be able to download a picture of that card design. Mm -hmm. And I just use those as digital business cards. And so even if I didn't have a physical card to hand out, if I got their phone number, I could text them. I just kept the image on my phone and I could text them. Here's my business, my digital business card. Oh, and I like that. All the information. It looks pretty like a business card. It's got all the, you know, the pretty background and the, just like if you had a physical card, it's just a digital form. So that's another way to push that out there. Do that. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's all I got. <laughs> Dog got. Dog got. Oh, all right so well thank you all for being here today and um if you're watching this we didn't go live on facebook because of a technical issue but we will post this on the facebook page later today once it finishes zoom finishes processing it and um, if you have any questions or your comments or suggestions on things that you'd like to see donna address in the future um on these calls just please you know direct message her or put it in the we'll, we're looking at a way to have a place to submit those uh, where it's kind of a one place to do that. We're working on that. So I'll be watching for that to come soon. And I think that's about it. Thank you. All right. Bye, y'all. Everybody, bye. Bye. Thank you.